Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Real Sports Updates here. Back again with another video. Um, so we just finished watching this Thursday night game, uh, the New York Giants against the uh, Washington football team. Fantastic game. Um, this was one of those games that I feel like a lot of people didn't really tune into because there's not that much star power. But this game was fantastic. Um, obviously it ended, ended in a little bit of controversy, but uh, I don't think, you know, I don't think the Giants were robbed. That definitely was a uh, false start. Um, I'm sorry, an encroachment on on uh, Dexter Lawrence. It definitely was. Um, it gave uh, Hopkins another chance to to uh, redeem himself, and he did. He uh, made that game winning field goal from uh, 43 yards. Um, the big takeaways from this game is uh, I think Washington. I think they're a quarterback away from being really really good. Um, Heine Taylor Heineke, he, he's good, but he. He has like backup quarterback written all over him. Um, if if Washington went out this season, they made a gamble and they 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 made a gamble on on I don't know um, you know trade some draft picks to to get one of the the uh, the you know top five quarterback prospects in the draft or whatever. If they went out and and kind of gambled a little bit, I think they would be in a much better place. Um, obviously, Fitzpatrick got hurt uh, last week against the Chargers, so it's, it's Heineke's job now. Um, and he looks good. He looks good. But like I said, he has backup written all over him. So I think Washington, they're, they're a quarterback away. Um, the, the, the thing that stood out about Washington's offense to me was uh, Terry McLaurin. That dude is a beast. Um, he, he should be called Scary Terry, not Terry Rozier. He should be called Scary Terry. That dude's a beast. Uh, he can, he, he's a rare combination. He can take the top off your defense. Um, he can also move the chains as well, too. Um, that dude is he's really, really good. Really, really good. Um Washington, they they're going to have to um upgrade the quarterback position if they hope to to keep him in the future, if they don't plan on franchise tagging him. Um, because that guy can play. He can ball. He can ball. He can ball his ass off. Um and for being a third round pick too, um, you know, he's got good pedigree coming out of Ohio State. So we know he could play, but he's really been proving it. Uh these past couple of years, he's been fantastic. Um another takeaway was Washington's defense. Um, coming into the season, all preseason, all training camp, we heard about how good Washington is on, on defense, um, their defensive line and whatnot and all that stuff. And they, they, they showed signs tonight. Um, but I think their defense is a little bit overrated. Um, the Giants is not, they're, they're, they're not great offensively. Um, Daniel Jones is, is a, he's a decent quarterback. He's a decent starting quarterback, I guess you could say, but that Giants offense is not, they're not top 15, top 20. You know, they're at the bottom of the league. So for them to give up all those points and all those yards to that that um, offense is not very good. I don't, you know, I, I, I don't think that they, I don't think that they're as good as advertised. Um, the, the other takeaway is I think the Giants are... I'm not sold on on the on coach on Joe Judge. Uh, last year he showed me something, um, and I think I overrated the Giants. I I had them winning the 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 division this year. I had them in, winning the NFC East, but I I don't think that they're there. Their coaching is not good, um, you know, especially for Joe Judge. He's a he was a New England um, lifer. You know, he's been under Belichick for a long time, um, and he doesn't. He seems like another Belichick assistant that's not. Belichick, his team is making really, really stupid, stupid mistakes. Um, just, you know, that last drive, they had to burn their last time out because they had two guys on the field. Um, and they would they would have ended up getting, giving up an easy five yards if those, if you know, he didn't take the, the time out. So I don't think, I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just not sold on Joe Judge. Uh, Daniel Jones, he's he's got some potential. Uh, Saquon Barkley, um we can't even judge him right now. He's coming off that injury, so I, I have no. I, I don't feel either way about Saquon. He doesn't look like he's 100 percent yet. Um, I expect him to get better as the season goes on. He played a little bit more than he did tonight. I mean, he played a little bit more tonight than he did um, last week, but um, he, he's not there yet to where you know he he's used to being. So I don't really have too much to say about him. Um, the the bright spot on the Giants' offense is the wide receivers, Sterling Shepard. Uh, Galladay, uh, Slayton, those guys look pretty good. 
Um, and they, they stand out on, on offense. Giants offensive line is not great. Um, they played good at, at times uh, during different drives, but they didn't put it together for the whole game, which was kind of like, you know, it, it's, that game is very, very uh, up and down, especially, you know, the way that the Giants are playing. Like, it's, it's, their offensive line is giving up a bunch of sacks on one drive, and the next drive, Daniel Jones is not getting hit at all. So it's like, you know, do they have that potential, or is Washington overrated? Um, we don't know yet. It's still early in the season, but it, I, I found it very, very um, interesting. You know, they they seem like they can put it together, but I don't know. I'm, I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure about coaching. I'm not sure I believe in Joe Judge anymore. Um, Especially on the, that last play, that Dexter Lawrence, that that is awful, man. That's awful. Uh, and the 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 funny part is it didn't affect the actual kick. Uh, Dustin Hopkins just missed the kick. What he did didn't influence the kick at all. It was a good snap. It was a good hold, uh, and he just pushed it right. Um, and he still pushed it right on the, on the game winning kick as well. But except he was five yards closer, so we didn't see that. Um, you know, and that wasn't the outcome. Um, but yeah, man, I, I think the Giants are not. They have potential, but they're not. They are not coached very well. Um, is 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 Joe Judge? Is he going to be another Matt Patricia? I don't know. Uh, if you would ask me this two weeks ago, I would have said no. There's no way um, the Giants are going to win the, the NFC East. They're going to be much improved. Um, you know, especially the way that they finished the season last year. Now I don't know. I really don't know. Defensively, I don't know what they're doing. Um, like I said, he's a Belichick guy. Uh, and Troy Aikman pointed this out a few times in the game, too. Their defense, their coverage, all their cornerbacks are playing soft. Every, like, almost every down they're playing soft. They're eight, eight yards off, off the receiver. The the safeties are, are back 12, 13 yards. Like, you got to come up and, and press these guys. Especially, you know, you have a, a backup quarterback like Heineke. You see him getting going. He's getting going, and he's getting the ball to Terry McLaurin. Both these guys are getting going. They're getting on the on the same page, um, and you know they're making plays. You got to come up and you got to challenge them. Uh, that's the one thing that Belichick always did in in New England. Um, you know they obviously play multiple fronts, but the one thing you can count on was defensive backs coming up and getting in people's faces. That's how they went to so many Super Bowls. That's how they were able to stop so many good offenses. The defensive backs came up, they challenged, um, and they were able to put pressure on quarterbacks, and and that's where it starts. You know, you, you can't just play soft coverage and expect to win a bunch of games. It's not going to happen, especially in today's NFL. It's not going to happen. You can't do that. There's way too many good receivers, way too many good tight ends. You don't get hands on these guys. You don't reroute them. You're going to lose. And, you, you know, you're going to get a lot of yards put up on you, um, and your DBs are not going to look good. Um, and the, the the Giants' DBs are, are talented. they got some talented guys out there. Uh, Bradbury was a pro bowler last year. Um, Adore Jackson is a first-round pick. Uh, Jabril Peppers is a first round pick. They got talent uh, out there in the secondary. They're just not being, they're not being utilized very well, in my opinion. But, you know, we'll see if they improve. But I, I just don't. That was that's disappointing to see, especially when you have all that talent. Especially that 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 interception that Bradbury, you know, he drove on that ball and intercepted it. You know, and that was all on him. Like it wasn't even really a bad pass by Henneke. He did that because he he's that talented of a player. They need to come up and, and get physical. Um, I think once they start doing that, they'll start seeing more success on defense because they're not bad up front. But, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens with this. Um, but very, very talented game. I mean, very uh, entertaining game. Very entertaining game. Um, I loved it from, from start to finish. Um, I'm impressed by Daniel Jones. I'm impressed by his running. Um, he's, he, he's way faster than he looks. Um, he looks like just some goofy, goofy kid, but he he can run the ball. He can run the ball, and he's 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 fast, especially on those read options, man. He he takes off, and he's out of there. Uh, he's a big guy too. He has a, he has a a a pretty long stride, so once he gets going, he's hard to catch. Um, but yeah, this was a fantastic game, fantastic Thursday night game, a uh, fantastic NFC East battle. Um, the NFC East is is. At this point, to me, I think it's wide open. Um, I want to say that the Cowboys are going to win just because they have they have the most talent um, from top to bottom on the team. 
uh, offensively, defensively. Um, but this thing is wide open, man. I, I really don't know. I don't know who is going to win the NFC East right now. I really don't. Um, at, you know, even the Eagles. I think the Eagles are still in it as well, too. None, none of these teams are... None of these teams are really leaving you with that that impression that they're going to dominate the division or that they're going to, um, you know, they're going to be so good that nobody's going to be able to beat them, you know, even if they have injuries. And none of these teams are, are like that. We'll, we'll see how the Cowboys do this week against the Chargers. Um, I think that's going to be a really, um, that's going to be an early measuring stick game. The Chargers look really, really good. They they picked apart that Washington defense Um last week so we'll see what the Cowboys do against them um but you know we'll see this this is very this is going to be a very very entertaining um very entertaining race uh to the end of the season to see who ends up winning the the division and uh you know we'll end up hosting a a, a uh, home playoff game so um yeah just my thoughts quick thoughts quick reaction uh you know raw emotion just from watching the game and watching that finish um fantastic finish um uh but yeah let me know you got let me know you guys' thoughts in, in the uh, comments um let me know what you think of of, of new york you know it's an 0-2 start um you know obviously there's 15 more games to go but let me know what you think um you know i'm curious i'm curious to know what giants fan giants fans are thinking right now at this point um because I, I, if I was a Giants fan, I would be pissed. I, I know that much. So, but um, yeah, let me know you guys' thoughts. Uh, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, um, share this video if if you think it's good, and uh, thank you guys for watching.